Western music scene only gets a certain amount of new musicians coming in and like well Bohemia is also about like bringing outsiders into Preston that have maybe not been before. Especially onto the music scene like as it is, you know what I mean? It's very sort of clinical in one of the way they do things. Friday, Saturday night is the music nights and they've already pre-booked bands of a certain variety because they can know they can get the crowd in for them. So many acts on in one night, and it's so DIY, and it really highlights the community. That's the main thing. It's like a big family, really. Members of that family, and Bohemia is like a sort of baby that we're sort of nurturing. It's all the young people that get involved, except for people that actually run this business because they're actually they're a bit of the older Bohemian vibe, and they're the ones that are kicking it out, like Brett London, Paul O'Mara, and Nick, and everyone. You know, the volunteers that run this place, they keep it going day to day. If you come in here and buy a brew or something, you know, you're going to get that vibe, aren't you? Call me Jackie. I'll call you Edna. Sitting in the green arcade. Laughing at paper hats we made. White sea walls, a boarding house, sitting round the table, your father, sister, brother, little boy. Oh, I'm so lonely, just a picture of you, stuck up in my bedroom. Everywhere I go, I think of you. Why can't we go on, darling, like we did before? Life should be ever living open, open door. Now I'm so lonely, so lost and all alone. And now you're married with children of your own. Call me Jackie. I call you Edna. Tonight, my dear, the park is beautiful, and the fall leaves are beautiful, and the pavement glitters beautiful, and you, my dear, are beautiful. And I don't know why, and I don't want to know why Because the wind is in my hair, and the oxter is everywhere And you, my dear, I declare this beautiful. Sunday well and truly epic! Oh my God.
falls in love with someone all the time Like the blind following the blind But I can fall for you, baby, if you give me time Cause you, my dear, are beautiful Difficult times for Britain's bees. Last year, the North West had the wettest summer for 100 years, having a devastating impact upon the bee population. Beekeepers in Preston are experiencing huge losses to their colonies. So there's been something like 50% losses this winter, which is much higher than we'd normally expect. In an effort to protect bees, the EU has now banned a type of pesticide called neonicotinoids. They can do things like disrupt their ability to navigate so it, uh, it may mean that when they're out foraging they, they get lost and they don't come back to the hive. My feeling is that I think we should be sure that the neonicotinoids aren't going to be a, a nuisance or damage the bees in any way and I would sooner wait until we had the science to prove that they weren't damaging rather than saying oh well we think it looks as though it'll be all right and then 10 years down the line find that actually it wasn't um, and and all the bees have gone um, because they are they are vital. Research into the harm of these neonics isn't conclusive Yet the ban could have severe consequences on Britain's agricultural industry. A major concern is that other, possibly more harmful pesticides will have to be used instead of these neonics. Bees are actually part of the local ecosystem. They play a really important role in the pollination of our plants, flowers, trees, fruit in the local area. This is why it's difficult to find the balance between protecting the bee population and on the other hand protecting food production to make sure that the food industry isn't affected by these changes to pesticides.